guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and I am here today, and we are going to go ahead and continue with our Beauty and the Beast tutorials, and I said last week we were going to do Gaston, so let's go ahead and do the handsome, evil Gaston. He is my second favorite villain, so let's go ahead and draw him. Now, he's a weird-looking dude, so the first thing we're going to start with is we're going to make this kind of a bridge going on over here bring down this side and then go all the way back up that overall is the shape of Gaston's face it's a little bit wide up here and it's just a very long face so I'm gonna go ahead and say this is a three-quarters view so I'm splitting it down the middle and then I'm gonna go up here say this is where I want my eye line to be so since it's a three-quarter view, we're seeing more of this side of his face as opposed to this side of his face. So what I want to do first is go ahead and draw out his little itty beady eyes. He's got little eyes in here because he's trying to woo Belle. Stupid girl. I love Gaston. I would be wooed by him any day. He want, if he asked me to marry him, I'd be like, yes, please. <laughs> We're going to make this little itty bitty eye right here and then we're going to jump over here and make the same itty bitty eye. So same length and same length and everything but what we're going to do is I'm going to jump over here first. Up here just a little bit above the eye I'm going to go whoosh like this little bit of a ski slope. Come into this eye just a little bit. So start up here, bring it in. So it looks like an S. Bring this down. And bring it out. Bring it out and bring it back in. It's a weird looking nose ridge, but it's this big brutish nose ridge. And then I'm going to bring out this nostril and bring out this side. After that, you're going to jump up here. We're going to finish off his eyelid by making this eyelid, this eyelid over here. So his eyes are closed, you know, because he's being sexy. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead, bring that down. Just give him that pupil and that eye over here. I'm going to jump over here, do the same thing. He has a thick he doesn't have eyelashes, but he has that thick upper eyelash line. Go underneath, close that off. Give him that pupil iris over there. And then bring up his eyelid by starting from this part of his eyelash. Curving upward. And then bring this, this little line down. Make it a little bit squintier. Chop off that eyelash just a little bit there. Raise this just a bit. There we go. Now, before we start shaping up his face, I want to go ahead and at least get his, his smile on. So we're going to jump over down below his mouth, like way down here. You're going to curve this in, bring it up, and then curve it downwards. Then you're going to bring this down. And then you're going to go underneath it, curve it up, we want to make this, it's not exact, it's a smile, but at the same time he's baring his teeth. Then I'm going to go underneath that, give him that bottom lip. Now we're going to jump inside of his mouth. And give him that good old eye tooth right there. And just a little bit indication of those teeth at the corner. And then bring down this side. Jump over here. Make this a little bit more of a smile. It's a difficult... He's baring his teeth. He's got... It's a full mouth. So it's always interesting when people smile like this. When you can see their, bo their whole bottom row and their top teeth. It's just a big smile. Big evil smile. <laughs> and then I'm going to jump over here give him that little bit of a dimple. Now, I know he looks super weird so let's go ahead and shape up his face a little bit more and that way we can give him his chin. 
So we're gonna start over here. This we're going to keep, but ultimately we're gonna bring out his cheekbone because he has extremely big cheekbones. Very manly, very manly. And then bring down this side and then we're gonna get ready to create the butt chin because that's what it is, it's a butt chin. <laughs> so we got one side of the butt chin, jump inside and give him the other butt chin. We're gonna curve this inward a little bit more. Curve it in, stop, and that's when we're gonna jump on this side. and sharp and you want to keep this part and this part since he looks a little bit more put together now now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump inside of his mouth and go ahead and create that shading so this is all his teeth and we're gonna jump over here go ahead and right about here you want to make sure he has those cheekbones cheekbones jaw bones all the bones, he's got a very, very handsome structure. So, I'm gonna jump back over here and give him his eyebrow. So this eyebrow is gonna go all the way up here. So we have one eyebrow way up here, and then I'm gonna keep it on the same line. They are raised, and they are big, bushy eyebrows. Very long, and so I'm gonna go up, mirror it and go back down. So we have this eyebrow that's going all the way off the side of his face and then we have this eyebrow. I'm going to define it just a little bit more to give it a little bit more caterpillar likeness. Then he has no shine in his eyes. I feel like all the villains don't really have shine in their eyes just because they are a little bit evil. So all you have to do is create that little pupil there and right here and he has blue irises so I'm gonna go ahead and shade that in nice thick eyelash line on top and you just kind of want it and then I'm gonna jump down here and give him a little bit of a bottom eyelid going on and then I'm gonna jump over here and give him the exact same bottom eyelid so I'm gonna make sure everything's flowing into each other. And then his eyebrows are black like his hair and his heart. <laughs> Guys, if you know me, you follow me on Instagram, then you saw that I actually went to, on Halloween, I dressed up with a Gaston, so you can tell he's my second favorite villain. <laughs> right after that, so let's start getting that hairline put together. So right now, I just wanna go ahead and create this C attached to his face. Big, big C, he has big ears. And then what I want to do is I want to jump all the way up here for the middle of his face because it kind of lines up with right here. Lines up right there. We're going to just start with the part in his head. We're going to start with the part in his head. Bring it down. Jump back down to the part. Bring this over. Bring this over. These are like his sideburns. Curve this inward. Back up behind his ear. And then I'm gonna jump back here. Make it nice and flat. Bring this down, and then jump back to over here. We're gonna line his forehead. Bring out this side of his hair, which is just another part of his ponytail. And it goes right into his cheek. Now before we continue the rest of his hair, what I wanna do is at least make his neck and his shirt just so that way we can get his ponytail right. So from his neck, you're actually gonna go ahead and curve that inward since that's part of his hair. And then I'm gonna go ahead and jump down here. 
bring down this side of his neck. He has a really wide neck, and so his neck is actually going to start on the other side, down underneath his chin. I'm going to start down here, curve it inward, and go right back up to where it meets. So we have this really big neckline. And then we're going to go ahead, just give him a little scoop right here. And then we're going to jump back up a little bit above into his cheek right here, or chin, we're still in the chin area, <laughs> and I'm going to bring down the color of his shirt, start over here, and go back into here, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just bring up this part, bring down this part, and then I'm going to jump back over here into this part of his neck, so underneath this part of his ponytail, and starting right here, jump down a little bit bring down the other side of his collar, bring this down. I want to make sure, don't do what I just did, I want to make sure this is nice and even so that means this swoop is going to go out this way and then back into his collar. And then I'm actually going to go ahead and bring down this fold in his collar right here. So we, this one's more folded inwards and this one we can see more off to the side. And then I want to go ahead and bring down his shoulders. So from this part, we're just going to imagine that this side, this is his shoulder. Bring down this side over here. And then over here, what you're going to do is you're going to bring down this little part, top of his shoulder. Bring down this part. So we have this part right here. Now I want to do is I want to go and go into his collar. make that little little wrap that he has around his ponytail his man it's not even a man bun <laughs> and then I'm gonna jump down here this is the end of his ponytail and then from his ponytail what I want to do is give him that little the little archer bow so I'm gonna go ahead and bring down that strap I'm gonna draw through through his shirt, his collar and his shirt, bring down this side, and then go ahead and bring down this side. And then I want to go ahead and give him his arrows. Oh, it's his quiver. I keep calling it everything except a quiver. It's a quiver. So we're going to give him one arrow here, one arrow here, and one arrow right here. Go ahead and make those arrows a little bit thicker. We're going to go ahead and draw the feathers on the arrow. So you just go up from the arrow, go down, go up, make a little bit of a break, and go down. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring some arrows back here. Some arrow feathers here. Curve it inward. And then we can see a little bit of the feathers back here. And the feather back here. Another thing right, I would like to do is go ahead and define his chest a little bit more. Bring out this side. His chest, so you can kind of see it over here. And then over here, I'll bring out that side of his chest as well. And then what I'd like to do, I'm going to just go ahead and shade in his hair since it is completely black. One thing we forgot to do, let's shape up that ear just a little bit more. So I'm going to square it off, bring this down, bring it in, and go right, bring that lobe into his the side of his face, bring down this line. And just as easy as it is, we're going to just bring down this line right here. And there we are.
And there you guys go. There is how to draw gas. Done! This is from the cartoon version of Beauty and the Beast. Uh, I keep saying that he's my second favorite villain. My first favorite villain is Ursula, just because I am Ursula. But <laughs> um, anyways, I'm very excited for Luke Evans playing Gaston. I didn't know Luke could sing, and I've been in love with him since The Hobbit, so I'm really, really excited for Gaston in Disney's live action film of Beauty and the Beast that will be released March 17th. I hope you guys will go and check it out. We know one, but I don't know the words. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do my favorite character from Beauty and the Beast next week, which happens to be Lumiere. So be our guest, be our guest. Okay guys, I'll see you later. Bye.